it's critical that these well-intentioned proposals in the act that they do not have unintended harmful consequences for open source software development. So <clears throat> we need to make sure that if we want to control FOSS in the AI space, we need to you know, look at things from a different angle and, um, and really take a different approach um, than the one that we're used to to regulate the larger players. So <clears throat> we're looking at a more tailored and more proportionate approach that will recognize that this form of development is dif it differs from proprietary approaches. And it's not only different, but it's necessary if we want to sustain a dynamic and competitive market. So <clears throat> we, we think the AI Act should do, and there are many things, but I'll highlight two here, is that it should ensure that the research and development exception is practical and effective so that it, it permits you know, limited testing in real world conditions, which is the only way that we can see if uh, the software uh, works. And it should also set proportional requirements for these quote unquote foundation models. It should recognize and really treat differently these different uses and these different development modalities, including open source approaches. So that's our view on this so far.